Today, I wanted to introduce you to this really fun Twitter program um, that allows you to leave a voicemail for someone on Twitter without actually having their phone number. Um, the web address is pocketsapp.com. You can see that there. Um, you sign in um, using the um, authentication um, process, so just entering your username and password. Apparently I cannot type that very well when I'm on camera. Let's see if I even typed it incorrectly. I did not. All right, let me slow down here. Sign in. Um, then what you do, um, you'll be able to, when you sign in, you can see my name, my avatar there. Um, you can click to enter in your phone number to update that. Um, having this phone number in here is how they actually call you in order to get um, your voicemail left for the person. All right, so update that. Um, here you can see here are two voicemails that I have. Um, quickly, I'll play that for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Michelle, I'm just calling to remind you never to Zoom. Um, it's very important that you don't do that because it completely ruins continuity of the shot that you're taking. Please don't Zoom. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> that was a fun message. It's an ongoing joke between myself and Ross in regards to Zooming when you're recording video. Um, so in order to send a voicemail to someone, um, all you do is type in the name of the person that you want to um, call, um, just their Twitter name, um, send voicemail. Then, I don't know actually if you need to put the at sign or not. Um, I guess we'll find out here in a second. You can see how quickly that rang. Hey Susie, it's Michelle just testing out Pockets app in order to record a video for my newest blog, blog post. Have an awesome day. Bye. You can see how fast that was. Um, gives you a little verification. Okay, we've sent this message on to the person. Um, and then when you actually sign in to get your voicemail, um, this is my twin box. Um, the other application I use, one of the applications rather I use for Twitter. Um, you can see here how I have a voicemail. It showed that I had a voicemail from Ross, which we just checked. We saw, we listened to him tell me not to zoom when I do video. And then here um, is a notification from Pockets app to VA in Paradise that I had left her a message a little bit earlier. Um, now, as far as security, can I hear voicemails left for someone else? No, I don't think so. Um, the reason for that is, if you notice here, this message is from, or to rather, VA in Paradise from me. When I click on that, oh, you can see the one for Ace Concierge just came in. So now it just says Ace Concierge has a voicemail from me. Um, if I go to click on that, um, it does not. See, it doesn't take me to the voicemail that I just left for Ace Concierge, which makes me believe that this is secure if you leave a message for someone. However, word of caution, whether they claim it is or not, I'm not sure, but anything that's on the internet can certainly probably be found, so probably shouldn't complain about your boss or anything like that if you use this service. Um, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. Um, have fun with it.